57 years ago, Biafra Republic was declared by Odumegu Ojubo. 54 years later, the issues that led to the declaration of Biafra has not been settled yet. Instead, it has gotten worse. May the souls of Biafran women, children, men, and pregnant women that were starved to death in 1967-1970 genocide continue to seek vengeance against the Nigerian state. Until justice is served, there will never be peace for the wicked. Let it be on record that the genocide General Yakubu Gowon and the Nigerian state committed against the indigenous people shall never be swept under the carpet without repercussion. Congratulations to United Kingdom, United States of America, Federal Government of Nigeria, and Yakubu Gowon. It is 57 years already. 57 years ago, you massacred 5 million innocent men and children to keep Nigeria as one. You wasted 5 million Igbos for the Nigeria you and I are seeing today. But guess what? We are Igbos. We are unshaken. We cannot be broken. We are still here. You marginalized us because you want to make us weak, docile, and scared. You said as far as you breathe, Biafra will remain an illusion. You also said, instead of an Igbo man to become the president of Nigeria, let the rope holding the foundation of Nigeria collapse before your eyes. The creation of Nigeria in 1914 is only but a cost to the indigenous people, and these are the achievements of 1914 amalgamation so far. Lives perished, investments gone, and properties destroyed. Ojuku knew that a day like this would come. In order to avert the unfortunate incident or for future occurrences, he asked for a restructured Nigeria. A restructured Nigeria that will permit each region to govern themselves and manage their resources while promoting autonomous society that fosters development and the maintenance of indigenous or regional resources geared at improving the lives of the people without external intervention. The Aburi Accord meeting was initially agreed by both parties. Gowon arrived in Nigeria and the success of the meeting was truncated by Britain, the colonial masters. Ojuku got frustrated. He declared the Republic of Biafra on the 30th of May, 1967. On 27 January 1968, Biafran currency pounds were printed by Odumegu Ojuku and was legal tender throughout the Republic of Biafra. On the 6th of July 1967, the war broke out. On the 13th of January 1970, the war ended and Yakubu Gowon declared or named the war No Victor, No Vanquish in order to promote reconciliation and healing, which never happened. And never will it happen now. There was no healing, there was no reconciliation, and there will never be reintegration. May the soul of our internal leader, Dim Odumegu Ojuku, continue to find peace before God. If you are an Igbo man or woman, be proud of yourself, be encouraged, and always know this. The war has not ended yet. The fight is only getting started. I also want you to know this. The hatred they have for you is your strength, your hope, your voice and your pride and these are the reasons the reasons why every tribe despises the Igbos is contained in this piece every tribe which includes the north the south and the west don't want to have anything to do with the Igbos they don't want to associate with the Igbos they don't want you to tag them with the Igbos the reason is contained in this piece it will surprise you to find out why the Igbos are the most hated in Nigeria. I know you are very anxious to find out why all the tribes in Nigeria are picking on the Igbos for no justifiable reason. Let's find out. First, the Igbo tribe is a unique tribe in Nigeria and Africa at large. Our uniqueness is what distinguishes us from other tribes in Nigeria because we are bold people, courageous people, fearless people, talented people, and most importantly, we are undefeated people. Our women. Our women are the